Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for February 5th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving region sum lines by Clover. Uh, Clover and Bill swapped the past couple of days, so solving a Clover puzzle, which doesn't happen as often. Uh, normal set of rules, one to nine each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some blue lines in the grid, and in each region that the blue line appears in, the sum is the same on that line. So these sum to five, that means these also sum to five. These sum to seven, that means these also sum to seven, and these also sum to seven, and so on. So we'll start with this. Um, there are only two ways to make five, and we can't do two, three, so we have to do one, four again. Now here, we can't do one, six, or three, four, so we have to do two, five again. Same thing here, we can't do 1, 6, or 3, 4. We have to do 2, 5, and there's a 2 this time resolving that. All right, here we need 5, and here we need 5. So those are going to be our low digits in some order. Here we also need 5, and we have a 1, so this must be 2, 3. And here we need... 7, can't do 2, 5, we can't do 3, 4. This is another 1, 6. Same here, can't do 2, 5 or 3, 4. That's a 6, that's a 1. And there may be something else to do here, um, but what I'm seeing immediately is that we have all of our low digits here. So this must be 5, 2, this must be 6, 1. That's going to resolve 4, 1. It's going to resolve 3, 2. And now neither of these can be 2 from this, so this is 4, 1. Neither of these can be 1, so this is 3, 2. So that resolves all of the longer lines except for these. Uh, so let's think about what this can be. This is 3 cells in one region, so this has to be at least 6. The lowest we can put is 1, 2, 3. It's actually a 2 in the box, so now the lowest we can put is 1, 3, 4. So this is 8 or 9. Can we make 9? Um, it turns out no, we can't make 9 in 3 cells without a 2 or a 5. The three ways that we can do 9 are 1, 2, 6, 1, 3, 5, and 2, 3, 4. And all of those are ruled out. So this has to be 8. This is 1, 3, 4. We've got a 1 and a 3 in the column. We've got a 3 in the row, or a 1 in the row, placing the 3. All right, in this row, we need 6, 8, and 9, and this is not 6. All right, let's look down here. This is also three cells, so this is 8 or 9. Um, this time it can't be 8 because we have a 1 in the box, so that's a little simpler. Um, both of the ways to make 8 and 3 cells involve a 1. So this is 9. The only way to make 9 without a 1 is 2, 3, 4. It's going to place 2 there, 4. 3. Across here we need 5, 8, and 9, and that one's not 5. Uh, we need 4 and 8 here. Up here we need 3 and 9. Here we need a 7. These are 8 and 9, so that means these are also 8 and 9 since these are on the same line. These now are 6 and 5. Uh, we need a 4 in this row, and it can't go in any of those cells. Uh, 3 can't go in these cells. So these are going to be high digits. That one's not 6. Um, it's the 7, 8, or 9. It sees the 5 and 6. And these are 5, 7, 8, 9. All right, what are we missing here? Um, we don't have a six yet, and there's a six in the row. This is not five, so the only place for five is here. These are also high, um, and we have an eight, nine there, so that's seven. Now we have an eight, nine in the column, so that's five. Across here we have one, five, and six, which are resolved by the digits up here. We need a 4, and then these are 7, 8, 9. Now where does 6 go? It goes there in the column. These are also 7, 8, 9. Where does 6 go in this column? It must go here. 
Uh, three in this row must go here. Two goes here. Five goes here. All right, so now we have a bunch of seven, eight, nines left. Um, seven must be in one of those cells, so this is seven. I'm, I'm kind of point out the other thing that I saw. This is a little more advanced, um, but these are eight nines, and they're different because they're in the same box here. So that means these are also different. So this cell and this cell see both of eight nine so they are sevens um i don't know if that's needed um but i'm going to use it because i saw it so that's going to place seven and a bunch of different places and now the actual way to resolve this is just <laughs> these are the last digits in the columns so that's going to resolve a whole lot of eight nines. That's the solution. So really neat puzzle from Clover. Um, doing the low digits, getting all that resolved, and then resolving the high digits. Um, yeah, not a lot else to say. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.